for this problem, take a moment and read this question and learn about the game that is being played. And so when you want to state the distribution of x, because I know, um, including the one on which the game is won, I'm going to go until a player wins. Because it's going to go until an, a, a success happens or a win happens, it is going to be a geometric distribution. And I know that geometric, so if I'm going to find the probability of some value for geometric, I know it's always going to be the probability I'm going to do lots and lots of fails, which will be x minus 1, and then I'm going to have one success, and then it's over. So that's how geometric works all the time. Now, if I go to B part, if I want to find in terms of n and x, the probability of x being x, we need to find the probability p. What's the probability of winning a game? Well, the probability to win, which is p, is going to be the probability I get one blue die and n minus one red, plus the probability of one red and and n minus one blue. So when I have this, that I'm gonna when I have one blue and all the rest red, and then I have a winner. Well, I know the probability of getting a blue when I have n people playing. Remember, I have n people. All right? Probably getting a blue is one half. He's the winner. The other people also have a probability of one half of getting red, and there's going to be n minus one of those. But consider if I have just three people, though, right? If I have three people, I could be a blue, red, red, the first guy wins, or a red, blue, red, the second guy wins, or a red, red, blue. And so because there's three people, there's three different ways or three different people that can win it. So I'm going to, I would multiply it by three because there's, it's n people. I don't know. So I'm going to multiply it by n plus, well, this is the same probability n times one half times one half n to minus one. I come along then and I add these together and I get two n one half, one half n to minus one. I can easily cancel out the twos, and I'm left with n over 2n minus 1. And this is equal to my p-value. This is the probability of success, of a win. So if I want to find the overall probability, or x is geometric, of x happening, well, it's going to be 1 minus p, which is 1 minus n over 2 the n minus 1. That's going to happen x minus 1 times, all these failures, and then finally the last one that happens is a success, and I end up with this.